Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammad Niaz with you. You are watching the fifth video in Azure Site Recovery video series, and we're gonna migrate physical server to Azure. That's our topic today. So the agenda is to give you a summary of what we have done in the previous videos. Then we will discuss about Azure Site Recovery migration architecture and demo infrastructure for uh, physical server migration to Microsoft Azure. Then a step-by-step -step demo on how to move your physical server to Microsoft Azure. In the previous videos, we started with uh, Azure Site Recovery Migration Introduction, uh, different type of connections, different type of uh, migration possibilities with Azure Site Recovery we discussed in the first video. Then in the second video, we saw how to configure an on-premises 40 gig firewall with Azure VNet for a site-to-site -site VPN. Then in third video, we saw how to migrate Hyper-V virtual machines to Microsoft Azure. In the fourth video, uh, you saw how to migrate your VMware virtual machines to Microsoft Azure. The methods to do this uh, migration for Hyper-V and VMware are almost same. The only difference is how you set up the configuration server or how you set up the Azure Site Recovery Provider, which uh, manage the replication of your data from on-premises to Microsoft Azure. So Azure Site Recovery for Migration. Azure Site Recovery is a feature from Microsoft Azure for disaster recovery purpose. For migration, you replicate your on-premises physical server to Microsoft Azure and fail over to Azure. There is no fail back option when you prefer Azure Site Recovery for migration. But when it comes to disaster recovery, Azure Site Recovery give you options to fail back your workloads to on-premises after you recover the primary site from disaster recovery. Look at the demo infrastructure. We have prepared site-to-site -site VPN with on-premises 40 gate firewall and uh, an Azure virtual network. We have a production subnet. Initially, we replicated our domain controller with a secondary domain controller in Microsoft Azure. Then in Hyper-V and VMware demonstration, we shifted our virtual machines uh, from on-premises to Microsoft Azure. So this demo is for physical server. We're going to choose the domain controller, our physical server. We're going to migrate the domain controller physical server to Microsoft Azure. So we already have a setup of Azure network infrastructure, but we will start from the scratch for a better understanding. So we're going to start from uh, a virtual network creation until we complete the migration. We will go walk through step by step demo on this topic. So the first thing to do is to set up a virtual network, then prepare a subnet. Then we're going to start with recovery service wall that is the actual feature that work for Azure Site Recovery. Then inside the recovery service wall, we have to uh, give the configuration details of on-premises infrastructure, how you want to replicate replication policies, then how you want to uh, fail over the completion of failover, everything that we're going to work in the recovery service vault. Look at the architecture. You need an Azure subscription and an Azure storage account. Azure storage account is your landing space when you initiate migration. Your data gonna place at Azure storage account initially. And Azure VNet is your private space, your network in Microsoft Azure. A process server is a server that you have to set up in on-premises so that the uh, my Azure Site Recovery Provider agent can be installed in that server and this, this agent uh, gonna take care of replication of your data from on-premises to Microsoft Azure. In physical servers, an agent need to be installed, but it is not your job. It is done by a Azure Site Provider agent. Inst Following other steps need to be executed to complete the migration successfully. Let us see how to do this step by step. Before we start your migration, let's prepare your virtual machines or physical servers, whatever, to be ready for migration. The first thing is to complete all pending updates that is mandatory otherwise you are able to complete the migration but once you complete the migration you will find difficult to spin up the virtual machine in azure and second one how you can connect your virtual machines or physical server that you move from your on-premises the first option is rdp or azure bastion azure bastion is simple you can uh, connect your virtual machine through browser but it is good to open the rdp ports either from the private if you have any other virtual machine running in azure or a public uh, RDP port has to be opened that you have to do in firewall so that uh, it can be accessed from public internet based upon your infrastructure or environment setup. Then you have to allow remote desktop in physical server or virtual machines that you are going to migrate from on-premises to Microsoft Azure. Log into Microsoft Azure. Let's create virtual network that is going to be your data center in your private space in Azure. So click on the virtual network, then click to create a new virtual network, 
create a new resource group a resource group is like a folder where you organize all your uh, services in one resource group so it, it, the scope of those resource group will be limited to that resource group then name your virtual network vnet cloud and uh, select a region which is close to you or depends upon the available service click review to create before that uh, go to the ip addresses and make sure that the cider block doesn't uh, conflict with your on-premises cider block and you can add new subnet or you can edit the existing subnet i'm going to modify the default one to protection subnet something like uh, that you can create a web subnet application subnet database subnet like that you also need to have a test subnet uh, or a test network so that you can uh, fail over the machines to test network and you can uh, do some testings and then you can go for the planned failover that means uh, the live failover so keep the other settings as it is and then complete the virtual network creation so now the virtual network is ready let's create recovery vault that is the service that we're going to use to move virtual machine so go and select backup and site recovery now select the subscription then select a resource group the same resource group which we have created for the virtual network and then give a vault name then click review and create review the summary settings then click to create the recovery service vault now the recovery service vault has been deployed open migration vault then the first step we're going to do is to prepare infrastructure for that uh, go to getting started and find site recovery from there select prepare infrastructure in the prepare infrastructure we're going to configure from where to where we're going to migrate and what is our infrastructure details so from on premises we're going to migrate to microsoft azure yes we are performing a migration and this is not a virtualized uh, server it's a physical server click ok then in the next step that is a deployment planning i'm not going to show you deployment planning in this session we'll do in a separate po blog post or video for now let's skip it uh, I will do it later or if you've done it you can just mention I have done it doesn't make any big difference just click OK then select the configuration server I have to install the configuration server actually in on premises so click to add the configuration server and download Microsoft Azure site recovery setup You, have, you can see there are two things to download one is to download the setup and second is to download the registration key and the quantity is 1.9 GB you can just paste it a Windows server and make sure you don't have any Hyper-V installed or domain controller installed in this server then we are going to install a configuration server and a process server together so accept uh, the license agreement then click next and the second and in the third step we have to register this azure site recovery setup with uh, microsoft azure so the registration key is the second thing that we have to download from the same page so let's download and bring the license key here now the registration key has downloaded let's copy it all right now let's complete the wizard yes this is connected to internet directly if you have any proxy configurations required you have to choose the second option then the prerequisites are uh, checks in progress now you have to 
provide a credentials for your MySQL. So add it here, then click next, then click next. I don't have anything to protect related to VMware in this session. Then select a network interface for internet phasing and your workload phasing. For me, I have one intern Y Ethernet connection, so I just put my local area network where I have my uh, internet connection and my connectivity to Microsoft Azure. So this add security if you want, you can use two network interface and then summary, then final installation is in progress. Now the installation has completed. Let's uh, skip this step and you have to add account here. This account is the account for your instance. So follow the same format. You will find this in Microsoft Azure so that you can select this credential is for this instance and uh, that will help uh, the Azure Site Recovery Provider Configuration Process Server to get the data and to move it to Microsoft Azure. Now come back to Microsoft Azure, we finished with uh, the configuration and process server setup. So let us add the configuration server. The configuration server is config SRV that we have done already now. Now it's time to select uh, the target. So the target is Azure and what subscription you prefer to select for this machine and the resource manager, then the virtual network. Now finally the replication policy there is no replication policy available for this physical server so i have to create a new one put your values and then give a meaningful name then click ok so now we finished with prepare infrastructure session the next step is to uh, prepare for replication now we finished with prepare infrastructure setup let's move to the next part that is replicate application select replicate application again the source is on premises and the source location configuration server machine type is physical everything you can select according to the namings that you have given then you can see the target is my domain controller if you didn't find this machine you can just add this physical machine with ip address then select uh, manage disk type then select a storage account Then select the user account details. Then select the user account details. This is the user account that we had that we added before. And now all the details are there. Just click OK. Then select the replication policy which we have created in the prepare infrastructure setup. Then once you finished with all this configuration, just click OK, then enable the replication. So this will initiate the replication of your physical server from on-premises to Microsoft Azure. And you can see the job progress there. Let's come back to Migration Vault and select the replicated items. You will see Domain Controller and it's still uh, synchronizing. Now it has completed the synchronization. You can see that the status is protected. So we can just go through the properties and find the virtual machine configurations and details. Now let us go for a test failover. For that go and click on test failover. and. Uh, select the RPO it's based upon uh, your replication policy you will find uh, different number of uh, different RPOs here then select the virtual network it is highly recommended to spin your test failover to uh, Azure test virtual network but as this is for demonstration purpose I'm going to spin to the uh, virtual network which we're going to spin for the planned failover also you can monitor the progress of task and uh, once it completes, we will find the virtual machine in virtual machines. Now let's go to the virtual machines and you will find virtual machine DC hyphen test because the virtual machine name was DC. Then 
uh, the test because we did a test failover. Now if you go to the boot diagnostics you will see the status of this virtual machine. Uh, you can easily understand from the screenshot. Now you can see the network is there and it has uh, spinned up properly. You have different options to connect. One is Azure Bastion. Azure Bastion is a browser based uh, RDP. It is a enhanced uh, RDP. If you don't know how to set up Azure Bastion you will find a link below in this uh, uh, directing to IT Pro Glide. IT Pro Guide blog you can see how to set up it you can just uh, enter the credentials and that will direct you to uh, web based uh, RTP to your virtual machine now we are able to log into Azure now we are able to log into the virtual machine that we have just migrated once you check things uh, and everything is seems fine once you completed your testing you can go back to uh, recovery vault then select uh, migration vault which uh, we were working then go to the replicated items then you have to clean up this failover first that will delete this virtual machine so let's click on clean up this virtual machine you will find only clean up is uh, available option now just give a reason then click to delete the testing machine if you want you can keep the testing machine also it is an option You can find an infrastructure overview also below this uh, session like uh, the, the cloud storage, Azure Site Recovery Service, what is the configuration server and uh, what virtual machine or what uh, physical server you have in progress of replication. Everything you can see in the infrastructure view. So once the test uh, failover, so once the test failover cleanup uh, is completed, the next step is to go for a failover which means I have to plan to shut down your on-premises machine and you have to move your users access or the application dependencies whatever the purpose of that physical server uh, you have to maintain uh, the connectivity to Azure so you can see there is a difference in the IP address when we this machine was working with an IP address of 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network once you migrate it to Azure, this is going to be completely different because the CIDR block we have here is 10.0.0.0 slash 16. So this you need to be managed either through the DNS address or something. So let's go for a failover now. Select uh, the preferred RPO then click OK. Now the failover has initiated. You can see the progress of uh, failover task here. Uh, this initial checking has completed and shutdown of the machine uh, skipped. You have to manually shut down this machine. Then you can see that the start failover is in progress. Now let's go back to the virtual machines. The failover has completed successfully and uh, and go to the virtual machines and click on the virtual machine that we have just pinned up. You can go to the boot diagnostic settings that is just below there. Yeah, boot diagnostic settings. Then you will see the spinning of new virtual machine has completed successfully and you can test it through Azure Bastion that is the easiest way to test it. So now let's go back to recovery wall service and complete the migration. Once you completed the failover, you can just say that uh, you finished with the migration. So just click to complete the migration. This will delete the data from Azure uh, Site Recovery Vault. Uh, so you will not be charged for that uh, storage occupancy again anymore because there is no more data. It is completely wiped out from the Azure storage. So these are the steps that you need to perform to complete a migration of your physical server from on-premises to Microsoft Azure. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this series well. So we have five videos in this series. So thank you for watching once more. Subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos.